Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Video bandwidth for the Gizwiz is provided by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. Audio bandwidth for the Gizwiz is provided by the new Winamp for Android, featuring wireless sync and one click iTunes import. Now with free daily music downloads and full length CD listening parties. Download it free at winamp.com slash Android. It's time for the Gizwiz with Mads Maddest writer Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1422, recorded June 25th, 2013. You're going to love the way you dunk. The Gizwiz is brought to you by Tonks Coffee. Tonks offers a bi-weekly subscription, sourcing their beans directly from the growers. They're roasted and shipped within 24 hours to give you the freshest coffee beans in the world. For a free sample, visit tonks.org slash gizwiz. That's T-O-N-X dot O-R-G slash gizwiz. And now, get ready for Dick. Today, Edward Snowden in the basement on the Gizwiz. <laughs> it's the same dumb show with Dickie D and Leo Laporte on Twit TV. It's time for the Gizwiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease, under pathology. Rows and rows of USBs, growing blue and LEDs. Get ready for the Gizwiz now. Now, welcome. To the Wizzy Gizzy! Oh. The Wizzy Gaz! Oh. Okay, my no, 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 no! Oh. All the way to the end where he blew up. Whoa! That was a little wobbly there. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Burke <laughs> threw that one. I, don't think, I think the geese, the thrill cam uh, uh, struts are not stiff, they're floppy. Yeah. Hello, Dicky D! Leo, how are you? I am, so I am very well. From uh, Moscow, I'm eh? coming to you from Sheremetov Airport. Oh, okay. Yes, I have just come in on Aeroflot flight number GZ914. Oh, Look at okay. this. There's a good shot. Completely fake. Pretending I'm in Petaluma. When uh, in fact... Uh, uh, oh, no, my, it's the SkyMall truck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, finally! It's here! Oh, the, yeah. the butt the shaper. Butt toner. Yeah, the butt toner. <laughs> oh, Lord. They still think they sent that to me. Uh, we have something much better uh, for uh, my gadget of the day. Well, today, don't you to your butt. Don't much be better than a butt toner. Okay. All right. Good. But yes. you yes. start yes. things off, Dickie D, ladies and gentlemen, the Giz Wiz, Mad Magazine's maddest writer, and uh, the host of our, the star, dare I say, of our show, where he's coming to us from beautiful Manhattan, where it is now... Pushing 100 degrees. Yeah. And humidity uh, is at 4,000%. Oh, man. Yeah. Now, you... Higher you, than normal. They you, have, <laughs> you have air conditioning in there, right? I do. I do. Because it looks like you're wearing your... What are you wearing? Your bathrobe? <laughs> <laughs> no. No, no, no. Try to... I can't match that shirt. It's like, <laughs> like a sensible shirt. Why, why did you buy that? <laughs> this is another uh, uh, screensaver shirt. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Um, it looks like a like some sort of printing error, actually. <laughs> but uh, they this is I wore this many years on screensavers, and then this hat is brand new from Soviet Union. Wow. Yeah, it's pretty good, huh? Yeah, it's excellent. Yeah, it's yeah. big enough to hold entire radio apparatus inside here. <laughs> and three laptops. <laughs> yes, I have laptop and computer in my head. I was pretty certain you had Edward Snowden in I your hat. I think he's in here. Oh, hi, yeah. Edward. Nice to see you. Hang on. <laughs> Actually, if you saw the first Harry Potter, isn't this where they? Uh, isn't this where he who shall not be named lived? Oh, is that a spoiler? And I, I today I ran out and bought a new air conditioner and got a. <laughs> Was there a line? <laughs> You're probably the only guy who had that idea, right? Uh, well, a lot. <laughs> My truckloads. I, I called and I said, before I come down there, do you have? And the guy said, well, we just got 50. But oh, hurry. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. so uh, you have an in-window unit or do you have a standalone yeah. unit? Or? Frigidaire. I had good luck with uh, two other Frigidaires. And no, we no, totally Dick, Dick, that's not an air conditioner. That's a refrigerator. You just leave the door open. Is that how you? Yeah. Because if you really, oh, you know, if you really want it cold, then I open the top door. <laughs> 
And oh, and I thought it was nice because it, I, I said, you know, I never had an air conditioner with a nightlight. <laughs> <laughs> no, so uh, Frigidaire, I didn't know this, but they make air conditioners as well. They do. All right. They do. It makes and sense. You make a refrigerator air conditioner, it's kind of the same thing. Yeah, absolutely. You just take the shelves out and you sell it to the next. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> don't, op just don't open this door and it's a beautiful air conditioner. Yeah. Uh, so is it, uh, what kind of, is it an in-window? Uh, in-window, uh, let's see, 8,000 BTUs. Oh, and, that's a lot. Oh, that's yeah. a lot, yeah. But you know, with the lighting and everything. The problem was, after we totally installed it, I said to Dennis, you know, we never did plug this in. Oh, <laughs> so, oh, no. So put it in, it, it's an, an incredible fan. But if you would like it to do some <laughs> compressing, you have to go back to PC Richard. Uh, actually, they were very good. Does it need 220? Up. No, no. Um, it, it just, the compressor, for some reason, just would not come on. So, so you had to bring the whole thing back. Put the whole thing back. Oh, well, how frustrating is that? But you know what? It was good because the, you know, now with computers, the guy, he typed in my phone number and he goes, oh, my word, you buy a lot of stuff here, don't you? <laughs> and I said, yes. the, According <laughs> to the NSA, this is your 53rd time here. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Um, so he said, you know, we, we wheeled it right back. And the good. guy said, uh, good. We'll add a new one. Just take the new one out of the box. Dump the old one in your old box, and we're gone. So, um, it's back in. Uh, and you're nice in, and and you're icy cold. You're freezing yeah. in there. Yeah. Well, we just shut it off at the show, but it'll be back on yeah. again. Oh, and that's the other thing: a remote control, so I can. Oh, nice. It on and off from. Yeah. My here. Nice. So that's. Yeah. How exciting for you. Did you not have an air conditioner before, or was it just kind I of... I didn't have an air conditioner, but it was old, and it was really yeah. loud. Yeah. So it, it's probably so inefficient to get a new one, and you get another $25 back from Con Ed. Right. Good. I, I did it. I did it and did it. I did it and I'm happy. Well, I think it's probably a smart thing to do on a hot day, but, uh, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, let's get some uh, gadgets uh, going okay. here because that's what this I, show is I, all about. It is. I, I met the guys uh, from Track Dot on Tuesday. Track Dot. Track Dot. So Track Dot's it's going to be out just another week or two. Track Dot is a little guy. It's here on my close-up camera. Put in a couple of double A batteries, and then you throw it. That, oh. That's Track Dot. You throw it in your luggage. I might need this. Okay, so Leo, this is pretty neat. You throw it in your lug, it has a little accelerometer, and it knows when it's in air and in motion, doesn't turn on. When your plane lands, it turns on, it finds three cell phone towers, wait does a, a little... Wait a minute, wait a minute. Yes, go You're ahead. saying that somehow, even though it's not on, it knows that the plane landed. Well, no, the accelerometer will tell it that. So it it's is. on a little bit. Um, well, he said it's off, but it will it's come not off, Dick. How would it? It wouldn't know how to wake up. Oh, that's interesting. That, uh, so maybe it, it, it snoozes. Let's put it. <laughs> maybe the GPS isn't on. Because uh, they're probably see. This is the thing. You know, I don't know if you're. Are you allowed to have? You, there's no GPS. It does. It does it from cell phone towers, like the i the the oh. uh, Wi-Fi the uh, iFi card. So probably what's not on is the cell cell radio because you don't you're not supposed to have those on in the airplane. That is but a little bit of an accelerometer. You know who's who's gonna complain? Who's watching? Who's, who's watching? watching? What do you think this is Russia? <laughs> what do you think? Spying? <laughs> no, you're not allowed to have that in Russia. Yeah. Uh, we don't care. <laughs> so Track Dot, uh, they're selling it now. We we saw this at CES, and I I didn't know when they would come out. So that's cool. Uh, yeah, I think next week. Uh, order now. I think it's shi uh, it's shipping at the end of June. But then, so when it does wake up and do whatever it does, it sends a text or an email saying your luggage is in Miami International Airport. Awesome. Whatever airport it's in. <laughs> so oh, oh, it's good. It, it doesn't always say Miami. No, the guy said they have cell towers for every individual airport around the world. So it'll tell you mm. what airport your luggage is in. Yeah, that's good enough. I mean, it does it does it but it says it'll know when you're within 30 feet. How does it do that? Is that Bluetooth? You know what? The, the guy told me that he didn't have a working one uh, at, at this event. Uh when you turn on your cell phone, download their app. Yeah. And sit like a little uh mind finder. It, it tells you which way to walk as you wow. get close to your luggage, the beeping gets louder. 
Of course, if you're in Miami and your luggage is in San Francisco, you will be doing quite a bit of walking. <laughs> to the left, a little more. <laughs> uh, 2,000 miles, make right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, no, this is great, especially if you've you know have ever lost your luggage. This can be really frustrating because they the air, the air, the airline may not even know where it is. They'll say, "Well, we'll get it to you." And the interesting thing is that even if it comes up that it's in a totally different airport, at least you know what airport it is. Right. You can contact the airline and say, "You know, I'm in Miami. My luggage is in uh, LAX. Can you please get it uh, to me?" Uh, so it's going to be fifty bucks. But now uh, you have to have a service fee yes, for yes. this. One-time activation is nine bucks, and the service is like a buck a month. It actually it's twelve ninety-nine a year. Well, that's not much. No, not bad at all. Not bad at all. And it runs on AA batteries. Two AA batteries, and the guy said they should last about a year, depending oh, on how okay. much track. Now they have uh, and, luggage with this in it, but I think it's a better idea just to stick it in your luggage. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You mean they sell bags with it? I thought they did. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you have right. to put batteries in the bag and then, uh, well, wait, oh, well, maybe it's called the track dot luggage. It is called track dot oh, luggage. Oh, it's not, it isn't luggage, but it's called luggage. It's, it's yeah, for it's, luggage. It's, oh, quite why they don't just call it track dot, but my guess is they're going to start Something marketing yeah. other versions yeah. to find lost stuff. Maybe your hat, track dot hat. Track dot hat, I like it already. I've got room in my hat for it. I can yeah. put it right in there. Track dot pants. Oh. <sighs> If you've ever lost your pants, you know how yeah. the heartbreak of that. A heartbreak of yeah. lost pants. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, and, and and it's track, T-R-A-K uh, dot D-O-T dot yeah. com, where they're at. I'm not sure I'd want to be the first one to use this. Let's make sure it gets through the TSA, okay? <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> that everybody's aware of it. Uh, well, you can, government, they certainly must know where you're like it. <laughs> Everything. They know everything. It should probably have a big sign on it that says, this is not a bomb. Might be a good <laughs> idea. I'm just thinking. Well, I assume that they, you know, told oh, the TS sure. they would. And and what could possibly go wrong with that? <laughs> wow, this is, but I like the idea. It's a very clever idea. And it's not <laughs> GPS, it's <laughs> cell signal. It said this was fine, so yeah. we built them. That's yeah. it. And the apps are iPhone and Android. Track dot, T-R-A-K-D-O-T dot com. Yes, sir. A division of Global Track. Global Track, tracking <laughs> wherever you are. We're there peeking at you. <laughs> what, what do you think would happen if you if you just printed a little sticker that said, uh, this isn't a bomb? <laughs> I think... <laughs> I think they'd blow it up. Oh, yeah, no, yeah. they... Uh, and with, along with the rest of your luggage. Yeah, no, yeah. they don't... They don't cotton to any sort of jocularity. This is not the B word. What if you said that? This is not the B word. Uh, possibly. <laughs> yeah, I'd say as far away from government agencies as possible. <laughs> good I, luck. I, you know, I file my taxes under uh, an anonymous name. That's a good because, idea. I should do that. Yeah. Just I, yeah, make I mean, up a social security number and use that. That's what I do. Yeah. I do a different. Every year, so if they're unhappy with the amount I pay, <laughs> try and find me. Exactly, exactly. No, no, there's no track dot on me, pal. <laughs> you saw who was it that had to put a patch on his backpack that said security? Was that Andy? Who uh, was it that did that? Yeah, Alex, Alex, Alex Lindsay. Yeah. So, his idea, and I, you know. I, I can't say this is a bad idea. He has a backpack. You know, the, the tactical stuff that the SWAT squad wears and stuff have Velcro, and you can put different patches on it, depending oh, on yeah, which yeah, yeah, federal yeah, right, agency right. you're pretending to work for at any right. given moment. And and he has a, a Velcro on his camera bag, and he just puts, it says security on it. He says it never gets searched. It just goes, they go, oh, yeah, right. Oh, they, I, that's interesting. Put it right through. And, but he looks a little like an air marshal, a little bit. <laughs> He's got yeah, short, he short hair. Yeah. Yeah. And he carries a Tommy gun. So, yeah. That, that, <laughs> and, but it's not concealed, so it's okay. No, it's, no it's right. not at all. No, right. and they're chocolate bullets. So, <laughs> what you got to do? You get attacked by, you know, someone who's a... Of course, uh, uh, course as AEIOU saying in the chat room, uh, we haven't seen Alex in a while. Maybe, <laughs> oh. maybe it didn't work as well as we thought. Mm. He's been missing for a bit. All right, that's track dot. Track dot. Gadget number two. Gadget number two is new from Samsung. My gosh, is Samsung turning out 
Holy Jazz cow. Per week? Yeah, they just announced so, a bunch of stuff last week. Yes, exactly. And so they announced it in London, but there was a Pepcom event, and there was a guy from Samsung who said he had the first uh, to be shown in North America. So I did a little video for this new Samsung device, and here it is now. To keep our total mass made us try to end the gizwiz at Pepcom. You know, Samsung does not stand still. <laughs> I just got the Galaxy S4. I come to this event, they got a Galaxy in a fishbowl because now there's a waterproof version of the S4. What? And tablets, I need they that. have a lot of tablets, but Oof. you've not seen this before. This is their brand new Ooh. complete Windows 8 tablet mm. that was announced on Thursday as I'm taping this. We're going to talk to David over here from Samsung, and he's going to tell us more about this. So, David, this was just introduced. When will people actually see it? So this product will become available in early August. And tell people exactly what it is. Absolutely. So this is our brand new Tab 3. It's a Windows 8 device. It runs full Windows 8. Um, it also comes with a full version of Microsoft Office Home and Student. Uh, so this is really for the PC user that wants the flexibility and the portability of a tablet, uh, but they don't want to give up any of the features from Windows. So this really gives you all in one. It was just announced today, and we're excited to say that it's the world's thinnest Windows tablet. And let's just show you. Doesn't this look quite tablet as thin. has been on a <laughs> oh, <no>. severe <laughs> diet. Now, David, over here on the table, I see this neat case. Tell us about that. Yeah, absolutely. So in the U.S., we are going to be shipping oh, the Ative Tab 3 the lid. with this great accessory. So and this is our Bluetooth keyboard designed keyboard. specifically for the device. Yeah, and it's um, going to be It also acts as a stand. So it's got these great like, magnets you know, on the back. Pretty nice. Uh, is the keyboard Bluetooth then? It is a Bluetooth keyboard. Uh, so it works as a stand. It can be great for portability. It locks right there in as a magnet, and then you're ready to go, ready to be productive on your Windows 8 device. Now, is there a price on this uh, set yet? Yeah, absolutely. So with the keyboard, we're going to be launching this model at $699. Wow. $699, and then the keyboard is standard. Keyboard is standard, yeah. So in the U.S., you'll be getting every model where you can find this at authorized uh, Samsung retailers will have the keyboard with it. So it's also, I mentioned, uh, I want to mention that there's some exciting like features about your phone. So you mentioned you have a Galaxy S4. Yes. With the Galaxy this, S4, this we have a new I'm technology on here called SideSync. And what SideSync does, it allows your phone to interact with your computer, and you can check out all your greatest, uh, all your favorite Windows, uh, I'm sorry, all your favorite Android applications on your Windows PC. So it shows a virtual version of the Galaxy phone on here, and then you can open it, you can answer text messages on it, you can use your GPS to call a restaurant if you're making reservations. Um, you know, if you're at the airport and you're having trouble hooking into the VPN, just hook up your phone and you can check all your emails right there from your PC. That is amazing. Now, I can't take David's word for it, so I will be taking this home. <laughs> <laughs> and trying it out with my own Galaxy 4. And as I walk away, I actually see the cops closing in on me. So, Dick Di Bartolo, Mads Mendes, Friday, and the Gizwiz with another one take theater here on Twit. Bye! I'm not taking so it. So, no, is it running it. in? Because I know it is. Sam it <laughs> I'm not taking this, really. It, Sam, if you had the hat, you could have just put it in there. Yeah, I, I wish. Sam's now like, I see it. Did show an Ative that was both running Windows. Windows 8 and Android. Is that the one? You know what? I'm I'm not sure because they introduced two tablets yeah. in London on Thursday. Okay. And he had this one. And, I didn't and so see the, the one that one. we were looking at probably was running an Atom processor. It was. It's running the Z2760. So that's why it's less expensive. And then they have a higher yeah. one running a, a, a fourth generation. Yeah, I, you know, I have some specs here from them. Yeah. Uh, dual core processor, 64 gigabytes of storage. Uh, and, you know, it has the micro SD uh, slot. We were watching the event on Windows Weekly, and, and at first it seemed what Android and Windows. But, you know, the more I think about it, the more I like the idea of having Android and Windows on a tablet. Yes, the, you know, I, yeah. I kind of like that. No, and uh, as you heard him say, it, it's uh, ships with uh, Office 2013. That's a big deal too. Yeah, yeah, and uh, that micro, makes it. I think uh, that makes it a very uh, uh, appealing price. Yeah, my uh, micro HDMI out. I'd love to see yeah, how so fast that Atom processor is. That's the real question. Yeah, I, right? I, I don't. I do not know. Yeah. But anyway, it's it's kind of interesting, isn't it? Yeah. 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 yeah.
Samsung's very aggressive. The waterproof S4 is what I'm really interested in. You know, I'm yes, going. Yes, I was walking by and I said to the I want that. I, I said, is that an S4? She said, yeah. I said, what's it doing on the way? She said, oh, they just introduced that too. It's the waterproof S4. Uh, I know. Uh, it's I called know. The S4 then there's a guy active, pressing his clothes, and I said, is he pressing his clothes with an S4? And she said, oh, that's the steam, uh, steam iron proof. version of the yeah. S4. <laughs> yeah. 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 So no, I, I, get... I would trade in my, uh, my, my unwaterproof S4. I'm going to Greece, you know, in the fall, and I think it'd be nice to be able to shoot underwater. It looked like you could shoot underwater pictures in the, in yeah. the demo of that. That would be very yeah. cool, yeah. Yeah, pretty interesting. I have bad experiences with phones and water, as you know. Yes, I know that. I know that. Uh, ba -ba -ba -bum. Let's see. Should we do... Yeah, let's do Gadget 3, because we're going to save the... Uh, okay. ...the ad... Yeah, okay. You know what? This is another company that is doing neat stuff. Uh, Satachi. We had the lamp. I think you yep. ran out and bought the lamp. I do. I have two of uh, them on my bedside table. Yeah. The only so, negative, I'll say, on the Satechi. Go ahead. Go ahead. I think it's Satechi. Right. Is the LED lamps. They're great, and they have low light, dim light, different color light, and all that stuff. And would you tell them this? There's no physical buttons. It's all touch. It, and, yes. and it's on my head. I can't see it, so I have to get up and turn it off every time. Oh, or I feel okay. around on it. And yeah, it's, you know, I, I pretty much know that it's like two and a half inches in from the right edge to yeah. just slide your finger across I can never there. hit it. So I think oh, okay. it's a good desk. It's a great desk lamp, and I might move yeah. them into the desk and, and, and maybe maybe something else for my bedside Table, can you I'll keep can, my eye out? Would you please? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, so Satachi has, and this is a very clever idea. It is when you travel to dry climates, the, the Satachi USB portable humidifier. So, Leo, this is very clever. All you do is carry the cap with you because it fits on any water bottle. <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> You put that on a bottle of water and a humid. I have to have this. Yeah. This is and, awesome. Cool. And, you know, the woman uh, at, at the show said, also on a very hot day, throw ice cubes in it, oh. which I did. And then they're and, chilly. Yeah. <laughs> you can actually use it as a little cooling mister. And it, it runs fine from one of those jack... Actually, it'll run fine from any of your little uh, portable USB charging devices. Chat room has a great idea. If you put it on a bottle of vodka, you'd both be humidified mm -hmm. and oh. cold yeah. and entertained at the same time. I and stupefy at the <laughs> same time. Uh, I can't understand you. I've got a vodka humidifier running. Um, uh, 30 bucks. How much? 30 bucks. I want that. When you go to Vegas, you know, I check in and I always ask at the front desk, do you have a humidifier? And they have like the whole hotel, hotel has three and they're always yeah, gone. It's, it's so yeah. dry. I love well, this. It's carrying that little cap with you. And, uh, you know, your power, you have tons of USB sources with you. So that that's that little guy. Wait a minute. Wait a minute that's a USB charger? Yeah. No, no, no. I, I said you can run it from a USB charger. Oh, I charger. see. I see. Yeah. So now you I'm plug it into the wall... I'm using, yeah, I'm using a, a USB-AC adapter. But you, when you're sitting working in, in the hotel room, just plug it into your computer. Wow. Yeah. I'm at the... Now, I don't think it's Satachi. It's S-A-T-E-C-H-I. Did they tell you how to pronounce this? So the PR lady said Satachi. I said like she, It's an E. It's Satachi. I, I don't know. Sateki. You know, I... I, I, I like Satechi best because it kind of fits what they do. Which is techie. So, uh, which envelope. Is te huh? Maybe, maybe, envelope. Envelope. Um, oh, it's called envelope? E oh, they e spell it. No, Satoshi. 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 I don't know. I'm trying to figure Satoshi. it out. Satoshi. 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 Uh, so I'm looking for this on their site. I don't see it. So this must be brand oh, new. Uh, Jason just had it up there. There you go. Yeah, but where, was that on their site? Yes, Satoshi.net. Uh, under, under USB devices? <laughs> <What> is, <laughs> yeah, I know. They're, they're, their website has to needs a tuning because I think they didn't know what to put this on. Well, I agree. What? Uh, I don't even know. Uh, <laughs> Where'd you find it? I, 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 I just sent, did a Google search. I, I oh, you Googled it? Yeah. yeah. Well, maybe if I search I, for humidifier... I, I, because I want to buy this right now. Yeah, there it's, it is. Sweet. It's in the office products category. That's oh, why. It's an office product. 
Hence the USB. Office products, appliances. They make too much stuff. They make and a they wireless keypad, an ergonomic LCD arm, and a humidifier. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It, now, is it, uh, how does it work? Is it just atomizing the water or? Yes. yes. So and, it's not uh, heating it? No. Wow, I love this. It even has and a dim blue light to it. Yeah, to and yeah, I, I, it's hard to see in that light, but then it comes with a couple of filters because it also filters the water as it comes up through that straw thing that sticks yeah, down. Yeah, you need that. Now, yeah. but it says it want they want a screw top bottle. Will, will it fit? Or is there a standard size for these things? The screw top. You bottles? know what? It, it is most most bottles in in uh, the same, on huh? play. It showed a bunch of different screw on bottles. Um, and I love this. This is, this. A, this is uh, a plain old uh, uh, Evian water bottle here that it's screwed Look at on. That. Yeah, I'm ordering it right now. Okay. All right. All a right. winner. A winner. 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 Chicken dinner. Yeah. Because it's kind so of cool. down that I just put an air conditioner and now I'm humidifying the room. <laughs> <laughs> the air conditioner says, what the? That's normal. You Don't you have a refrigerator in your house too? And inside yeah. the refrigerator, there's a special container to keep the butter from getting too cold? It's the same thing. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. No. Uh, you heat the house, you have ch chill the food, you warm up the butter. And you crisp the vegetables all in the same box. Wow. Yeah. I want one of those. You're gonna want one of these, but let me do a little test. Here, give okay. me the give me the give me give me everything. Bring it all over, Jeffrey Needles. Uh -oh. Star gimme, intern. Gimme, gimme, gimme. He is a star intern. I was thinking the 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 the, the oh, gadget. Yeah. yeah. I don't know who's gonna miss who more when he leaves. I'm gonna miss him so much. I just asked him the other day, when are you leaving? And, and how can we hurry that day along? So, no. Now, don't. Now, look. Don't read the packaging. Okay, I'm not What looking. do you think this is? Oh, I'm not reading Where's the, the close-up? Can, can you get a touch oh, close? Oh, I got you. I got you. Is there a close-up uh, yeah. shot? There, we go, there, there it we is. Go. What do you think that is? Oh, uh, to stick in your mouth? This would be a great. What the heck is it? Yeah. Should I take it out of the package? All right. Yeah. Let me take it out of the package. Uh, it's to floss a bear's tooth because it looks. <laughs> you could do it that way. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. 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 Okay. Or okay. if you're on the Gong Show. Uh, oh, oh, that's yeah, good. That's yeah, good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if a beautiful woman walks by. Um. Um. No, it's not what that is. Is it a tongue clear? No. <laughs> Unless you have a very round tongue, it is not. But maybe this package of Oreo cookies might. Be a giveaway. Uh, uh, an Oreo cookie picker upper? <laughs> it's a dunker. It's an Oreo cookie. Oh, my word. <laughs> now, if only I had a delicious cup of hot Tonks coffee right about oh, now. Oh, oh, Why, look, oh. I do. Mm -mm -mm. There's uh, nothing. I'll... Get a close up of this. There's nothing quite like. Oreo cookies and Tonks coffee. Mm -mm. Wow. Now what do I do? He dunks in Tonks. <laughs> <laughs> now, do you, then what do you, do you do this? Tonk, dunk. Like that? <laughs> oh, it's very good. Yeah, it worked very well. Mm -hmm. As long as you don't mind eating Oreos entirely at one time. Well, wait a minute. That's a good question. Let's try ah, it that's, again. That's how I eat the Oreos for sure. Because you, yeah, all at once. What's nice is it fits perfectly. Yep. It was as if it was designed okay, to do this. Just, uh, right, right. In fact, it was. You see what it says? It's called the Dipper. Oh. Uh, yeah. Uh, By the way, the product is BPA free. Good. Has uh, no inflatables. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I can't read that word. And and is over thirteen. Oh, good. Is okay. that what that means? It says thirteen plus. Oh, you have to be oh, over thirteen to use it. To use. Yeah. It's because. it's. They don't say Oreo specifically, but my God, man, it's yeah. made. Yeah. Invented by a dentist, I believe. <laughs> All right, now. Bisco, one now, of the other. Let's see if you can just eat a little bit. Oh, yes. It's very wow. genteel. Look at that. That is good. Uh, is it okay I to double? I think it's not the bite without the rest of it falling off. 
Oops. <laughs> <laughs> well, but then it's a handy little fish hook. Oh, I bet you can't get that out. Oh yeah, you don't. You don't. You don't have a big dipper. No, uh, I don't. You're right. I can't get it. How do you know? <laughs> <laughs> By the way, always stick that your pinky out when using yes. the big dipper. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Let me tell you something about this coffee, by the way. Yes. This is not your everyday coffee. This here is Tonks coffee. And let I me just try it. this here. Mm. No, so good. <laughs> so good, especially with that little hint of Oreo. Um, Tonks, the idea of Tonks is they're coffee connoisseurs down in L.A. They roast every day, and they ship it directly to you. Every other week, you get a bag of Tonks coffee, and it's a gourmet bean. They source it themselves. They pick it. They roast it. They're careful, and then they ship it to you, so you get it within 72 hours of the original roasting. And then, now, these are beans. you got to grind it yourself. They have some suggestions on grinding and brewing on the Tonks site, T-O-N-X dot O-R-G. I'm telling you, if you want to take your coffee to the next level, Tonks is about just fabulous gourmet beans from a variety of different sources. They're always kind of single varietals. Like this is the Guatemala Antigua Santa Clara. And they even tell you a little bit about the coffee and everything. So now you know what you're drinking. And man, it's so much fun. It's like traveling around the world without leaving your breakfast table. T-O-N-X dot org slash gizwiz will get you a free sample. You know, at the very least, get a free sample. I'm telling you, it's so good. It's so good. Tonks.org slash gizwiz. They have a free trial. They have the 12 ounces every other week. If you're a big coffee drinker, you get the 24 ounces. You choose what you want. It's a subscription plan. It's fabulous. Fabulous. Myra says she was in Antigua, Guatemala, and the coffee's good there. It is, Myra. Tonks.org slash gizwiz. Mm. She goes down there in the summer to pick beans. <laughs> it's a little side job. Yeah. So uh, where did you find this, uh, Jeff Needles, the dipper, the ultimate cookie spoon? This is why I'm broke. It's on from thisiswhyimbroke.com. You can get it online. Is that thedipper.com? The D-I-P-R. No E, oh. no P. Yeah. It's one P, no E. Right. It's kind of like, oh, okay. <laughs> it's, it sounds like my life. One P, and no how much E. Does cost? Why, it's nothing. You can get it in yellow, red, blue, green, or purple. And uh, how much did that cost, uh, Jeff? Two dollars and ninety-nine cents. <laughs> Say goodbye to sticky fingers. And look, there's the online store. I'd get one for every member of the family. <laughs> then you can dip together. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. This is fabulous. Yeah, I don't the know family how I lived without this. Together takes trips together. It's like a handle for your Oreo. Yeah. You know, and you can't drop it. Oh. Well, you could oh. drop it. So don't don't turn it around. They need one for Cheetos. It's the ultimate cookie spoon. The dipper, 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 you. Is this you an Apple in your commercial? Coffee, oh, your Macintosh. It's delicious, it's simple, and you like it. You put it on a hook, and then you bite it. It's easy to use, even for little people if they're over 13 and don't mind BPAs <laughs> in the milk. Mm -hmm. No, there's no BPA. That was a joke. No, B it's BPA free. Mm -hmm. hey, we should try it in milk. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is it dishwasher safe, Jeff Needles? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's available in five colors. <gasps> Coming soon, characters. Oh, characters. Oh. Maybe, maybe they'll have Dickie and Leo. You never can have too many utensils, right? My kids will not eat Oreos without the dip. I'm reading the... <laughs> Uh, great quotes here. <laughs> yeah, because I don't think you have any kids. All right, now I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it in milk. Look at that. Look at that. <gasps> it That's works beautiful. in milk, too. Yes, it works know, in milk, too. Fearless in these experiments. <laughs> <laughs> How much is the shipping and handling? Uh, yes, $25. That. Mm. It really is better if you eat all in one lump. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> one soft lump. <laughs> Probably a five hundred thousand dollar Kickstarter project. <sighs> this would work with watermelon Oreos too, right? Hmm? Watermelon Oreos? It's the newest flavor. Watermelon? Watermelon Oreos, just in time for summer. I understand the grasshopper one. Watermelon? <laughs> There's a grasshopper uh, Oreo? Like they have a grass well, they did at one point. They used to be my favorite. Birthday cake Oreos. Oh, Ooh, what are they made Birth of? 
It was a great. Uh, they're Oreos and they're made of Oreo. <laughs> made of flavor. Thank you, sugar. Jeff Needles. <laughs> Good news. There's, they're making them out of Oreos now. <laughs> they're covered with Oreos. Mmm. Oh, the frosting's on the outside. So that's my gadget. <laughs> oh, okay. I'll take that. It's just an excuse to drink coffee and eat cookies. Yeah, uh, and it. charge it to the company. And I charge mean, it back to Tonks. Open. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so how do you feel on the Hydrox so, Oreo controversy, Dick? Uh, I don't even know about it. Oh, you probably just all Oreo family. You know I there's a in... fake Oreo out there called Hydrox. Oh, I know Hydrox. They're not as good. Is that the worst? I don't even care if they're good or bad. That's a terrible name for a cookie. Yeah, it is. It's Hydrox. Not yeah. It's, it either sounds like a strange animal, like from Dr. Doolittle, <laughs> or some chemistry experiment gone terribly. I think that's what we made last week was Hydrox. Was Hydrox, yeah. Yeah, I'm on Hydrox. The, do the doctor said I should take it. Just, <laughs> just take a little Hydrox and you'll be fine. Just a pinch between the cheek and gum. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I think it's time to go to the hottest place in the world. I'm not talking about that place down below, H-E double hockey sticks hot, but I'm talking quite nearly as hot and certainly a lot more humid. Ladies and gentlemen, we go now to the Isle of Manhattan where everybody is naked except for Dick D. Bartolo because he's got a brand new air conditioner. Yes, Dick is here with... Dick's Gadget Warehouse. They're geeky and they're goofy. Together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away, ho, ho! he takes them out to play. <laughs> Dick's Gadget Warehouse. <laughs> and now, ladies All and gentlemen, right, so this the is, it's Maitre like... d'Ur Warehouse. Dickity. I'm sorry. <laughs> yes. Now, now you may speak. Okay, it is a, another viewer's video. This I don't know if you're going to be interested in buying one of these. It, it's a gadget that someone is reproducing. I'll, I'll read the letter, okay? Okay. Uh, um, it's from Jonathan Rabkin, and Jonathan writes, uh, please consider my contribution for a video under the category, a gadget made in the USA, which I cannot live without, and which mm -hmm. also makes a lot of noise. <laughs> It is my beloved Unicomp keyboard. Oh. Uh, this is pretty nifty. Signed, Jonathan Rabkin, and this is his video. I like the keyboard. Oh, hi, Dick and Leo. Hi. I was just admiring this autograph oh, look. from Dick D. Bartolo with this neat vintage spy versus spy pin. But... What I wanted to talk to you about was a gadget that I cannot do without. Back uh, in the day, I used to have IBM Model M keyboards. They were really big, they were bulky, they were old, so some of them were kind of grimy. But they had a wonderful tactile feel to them, and they made a wonderful sound whenever uh, you typed on them. Also, they had the additional uh, the additional advantage of weighing a ton so that they could stop an armor-piercing, thin-stabilized, discarding Sabot round from a tank mm. if you needed that in the office. I don't have those keyboards anymore, but I really missed them. So, I went on the internet and I found this. <laughs> Look at this keyboard. This is Holy a moly. Unicomp keyboard. Unicomp uh, are a company from Kentucky, apparently. It's USA made. Apparently, they purchased the rights for the buckling spring uh, kind of keys yeah, of the IBM and listen the rights for the design. And they make uh, brand new keyboards built of kind of to the specifications of IBM Model N keyboards. This one comes, uh, as you can see, it doesn't have Windows keys here. Uh, and there are all kinds of uh, different designs, different key layouts. There are some with, with a track point, And they're really nice, made in USA. And listen to this, okay? <laughs> the size of that. Either he's a very small person, or that is a huge keyboard. 
That like sounds great. I really enjoy that. It has a wonderful feel to it. Unlike the old IBM Model M's, it comes with a USB connection. The old ones, uh, you would have to have a PS2 to USB uh, converter in order to, to use them. These are wonderful keyboards and they're new and they come with a warranty and I would highly recommend them. Now, you can't go to a coffee place with them because <laughs> you'd probably get complaints. But you can't surf and on And if you're typing cool. while someone is trying to <laughs> sleep in the house, there might be problems. But if, like me, you work from home and you really want a nice keyboard, then I think this is second to none for those of us who miss the old IBM Model M's. Thank you and back to Wow. Uh, 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 yeah, so it's Unicom, Unicom Keyboard and they're at now, PCKeyboard.com. Yeah, because I they're looked expensive. on Amazon and I don't see them uh, there. Yeah, they're about 80 bucks. Well, that's not, you know, I mean, uh, in the old days, that's what a keyboard cost. Yeah, you know, you're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. I mean, they are enormous. <laughs> they are big I'm guys. glad he, we got a video because I don't think the, the, the pictures don't do it justice. When no, they don't. next to the yeah. guy, that yeah. is massive. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. You could put legs on it and use it as a coffee table. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you. <laughs> Unicomp Buckling Spring Model M keyboard. It was invented by IBM in the 80s, popularized by Lexmark in the 90s, and Unicomp took it over about 15 years ago. And, uh, wow, you can even get it in the classic IBM beige. Oh. Ooh. That is one ugly-ass keyboard. <laughs> Uh, that's ugly ass keyboard dot. I think I'll see if that's available. Some people want that. They want, you know, I, I actually, I, I, I always like the big, you know, buckling spring keyboard. The, the, that's the, the switch in there is a buckling spring. And it makes a big clank. And yeah. believe it or not, you want that. In fact, I think it's better for typing because you're moving more and you're, it's less likely to injure yourself with carpal tunnel. Yeah, so I got yeah. one. <laughs> and I realize I can't use it because I'm on the radio show and somebody asked me a question oh, here. <laughs> it sounds like, um, you know, I uh, maybe I'm making reservations for them at Lufthansa. I mean, <laughs> so uh, I, I had to get rid of it for the quiet, soft keyboard that's not quite as fun. Okay. Yeah. Wow, that's nice. Uh, so we're going to send him something. Maybe we'll, you know, we got an extra dipper. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wait a minute. Well, Jeff says, me... no, we don't. Our, I guess well, I, I mean, gather you're keeping that one, we, eh, we, Jeff? We have a dishwasher. Oh, all right. You paid for these? Yeah. Well, let me give you a couple of bucks. And, and <laughs> they are dishwasher safe, but who needs to? You can just lick them off, put them back in the drawer. Why don't we, why don't we just send that one to them? I mean, you've cleaned it, so. No, no, no charge for the DNA I sample. Photographed by Leo Laporte. <laughs> <laughs> DNA. Yeah, it's a good ear scratcher too. You just get right back. Oh, oh now we're de definitely sending that to him. Mm -hmm. Ooh. No, no, no. no, no, no. Keep mm -hmm. it up. Okay. We have now made it officially not mailable. <laughs> I think it's against postal regulations yes. at this point. I think it is. I, uh, let me just mention if you want to send us a video, uh, it can be pretty much on anything. I bought a piece of crap. I invented. <sighs> Gadget Warehouse, uh, and as Jonathan did, uh, one of my favorite gadgets of all time. And uh, just uh, two to three minutes, post it on YouTube, and send the link to Jason at Gizwiz at TV. And new, 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 if we show you a video, you get a piece of crap. <laughs> Biohazard outfit not included. You know, uh, uh, WDPC Mark has a great idea. Twit, we could make, with this be a new side business, we could be an authorized dipper refurbisher. Then oh. we could do our extended warranties and all of that. Look, yeah, the FedEx well, guy's waiting. I should just... Quick. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, well, man. we missed our opportunity. We missed oh, the opportunity. Oh. It's gone. The you ship has sailed. He thing on his iPod, and he said, what a great idea. <laughs> Let me go right to the patent office, <laughs> the Petaluma patent office. Makes a lovely earring, too. Look at that. It's multi-purpose. Wow. So wow. Um, usually at this time of the show, we like to get a letter from one of our viewers. 
But before we do that, perhaps we should just play the letter jingle to set it up. And now, Dickie D with a dramatic reading of another letter to the editor. And the letter says, that was another outstanding show this week. Mm. I was laughing so hard during the pocket hose segment. And when Leah was making that liquid mist of <laughs> stuff, whatever that was, I enjoy watching you guys. In fact, I'd rather watch you guys than regular TV. Yes. You much more enjoyable, thanks. Please Call tell Oprah that. Phoenix. Yeah. But you know what? When you think about it, that's not much of a compliment. <laughs> I know. It really isn't. Uh, uh, yeah. You know, you guys are more interesting than regular TV. Yeah. You're you better know? than Gilligan's so, Island. <laughs> yeah, the Oreo picker up is more interesting than regular yeah, TV. Yeah. But, but anyway, Call in Phoenix. Thank you. We have high aspirations. We hope someday to be better than regular TV. Yeah, no, we better. That's a given. We're yeah, better. Yeah. We passed them uh, about five years ago. Hey, did you write that uh, piece in Mad Magazine that uh, you posted on Facebook yesterday? Was that yours? Um, Do you know what I'm talking about? Uh, let's see, yesterday. You don't even remember. Let me pull it no, up. You know, there's so much stuff that goes by. I there. know it was good. And I don't, you know, to be honest, I would say, but I can't remember what it was about. Uh, I'm going to find it and I will. Uh, Oh, wait a minute. It was... It was very, very topical. Yes, yes. Men's clothing. Men's, the it was the men's stuff. warehouses. Why That's George it. Zimmer got fired. Was that yours? No, it was not. That, no. that was very funny. Yeah, it, it, it is very funny. It, it, it's very funny. Why yeah, men's no. warehouse fired its founder, George Zimmer? That's the guy who said, you're going to look good in one of our suits. I guarantee it. He says, you, he says, you can't go around taking customers' inseam measurements unless you're a tailor. <laughs> yeah. He wasted. Who knew? Who knew? He wasted knew? millions in the doomed R and D project's triple-breasted suits. They, uh, it was discovered he was leaking company secrets to Joseph A. Banks. <laughs> <laughs> but my favorite is the end, and I'm not going to say you got to. Is it? You, is this in Mad or you got to go to Mad.com? No, no. This is this is uh, MadMagazine.com. The post of the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I won't. That's I the won't. good thing about the post of the day is they can do something every day of the week, and it'd be very, very topical. Yeah, yeah. You know, I no, I, I, I saw I, your post on Facebook. I said, "Oh, good," because I'm dying to know. Why? What happened? Because he founded the company and he's gone. And as a company founder, I find that of interest. Oh, uh, yes, exactly. Yeah. Uh, well, Alfred E. Newman sent out a tweet saying, <laughs> imagine a corporation would have a single face representing their product. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I guarantee it. All right. Dick, what a fun-filled show last Absolutely. week was. Absolutely. <laughs> Maybe we could just live up to that again someday soon. Uh, yeah. Don't forget the what the heck is it? We're right. Oh, you know what? This will be the last chance yeah. uh, for a June uh, contest. Gizwiz.biz, G I Z W I Z dot B I Z is the website. You got to figure out what that gadget is, that, that thing right yeah. there. Click the what the heck is it link on the web page and. If you've it, 12 mad magazines autographed by Dickie D for the right answer, 24 for the best wrong answers. You know, I'm thinking that I could put an Oreo cookie in there. It is a perfect shape. Yeah, I perfect could probably size. get three or four if they were back to back to back. Yeah, mm. it could be a family Oreo dunker. Mm hmm. <laughs> or as Dr. Mom calls it, a suspensory. A oh, suspensory. I like it. I like it. Dick, as always, a great pleasure. Thank you for being here this week. We'll see you at the Giz Fizz right after the radio show on Saturday and back here on uh, Tuesday afternoons, 2 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Eastern Time, 2200 UTC. See you then, Dick. I'll be here.